Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra Love Prediction Reading for January 29th through February 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read if it's not your story. It's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, peaceful, kind, sweet, loving Libras. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Libras? Show me what's going on my Libras. Let's see Libras. What you got going on? Six of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Okay, Libra. Oh, the Empress. And the Eight of Wands. Well, Libra. You lead off this reading, it's all about winning in life. Just winning. This, I mean, whomever you're with, you feel like you're winning with them. You feel like they are, this is this is the one. I think you feel like this is the one. The Six of Wands is about winning. It's just about winning. It's about winning at all costs, doing whatever it takes to make sure that this stays together. And here you have the Page of Pentacles there too. Come on, Libra. This is someone that is faithful to you. Someone that you can build a life with. And, and you feel like you're winning. You're just in the season of just like, I hear you just saying, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm, and you're trying to be cool. You don't want to lose your cool. You're trying to be cool because you feel like that you are winning. Um, not only that, this is what's interesting about this reading. I, I just see it very clearly. The Three of Cups is in the middle of your reading. The Three of Cups is about having a good time, enjoying life. But more importantly, the Three of Cups can be about having a wedding as well. Having a wedding, having a celebration. I think you found the one. Now, here, here's what I also see, though. I think uh, sometimes, you know, things go along and everything is good, but then here comes that empress, and that empress means someone is with child. You are pregnant. You are pregnant. If you're not pregnant now, you're going to be pregnant soon because here is the empress card here. And you know what? This is a happy pregnancy because here is the eight of wands. You can't wait to tell this person. You guys, all you do, I see you and this person. I don't know if you... You're even married yet, but I do believe that marriage is in your future. You've already been talking about it. You've all, you you guys both know. Both of you, you knew that you had found the one. I mean, you know, sometimes you know that you know that you know that you know. And this is what I see with this relationship. This relationship gave you everything that you want. This relationship is faithful. This person's faithful. You have a good time with them. But not only that, like I said, that three of cups can also mean an engagement, marriage, um, having a wedding. And I do believe that this person was ready to um, ask for your hand in marriage if he hasn't already. But the biggest thing is, is that the Empress card is here. So you are pregnant and, uh, and you're happily pregnant and, and your, your significant other is happy as well. You can't wait. You guys are both. And, and you know, it's almost like I see, and I'm going to say, I, I almost see that you guys have been trying to get pregnant. Um, I don't know if you're married yet, but I don't know. But I do see that this might be that you have been trying to conceive. And the universe and, and God has blessed you with this child. Because here's the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is having a whole bunch of conversations. You're already planning a room. You don't care if it's a boy or a girl. You, I mean, you, you, you've already thinking about how this is going to, um, how this wedding, I mean, excuse me, how this child and this family is going to be. You guys are just, you, 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 you can't wait. You can't wait to tell him. You got, and once he tell him, I see that it's just a lot of talk that's going back and forth about what he's what, what he's going to do, what type of father he's going to be, what kind of mother you. I just see that you're going to be you're a first time parent, and you are ecstatic. And and I don't know how else to say it, but the universe has blessed you, and you are extremely happy about this. And you are telling him, and he's extremely happy as well. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know about this. What additional information do the spirit guides want you to know about this? Your um, 
your, I, I see him as your significant other. Let's see. Why is this six of wands here? Why is this six of wands? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the six of wands here for my um, Libras? Show me. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Libra, you're winning all the way around. Look at that. That King of Pentacles, that's somebody that has paper too. That's someone that has money. You know, he's been looking for the right woman. And he's found the right woman in you. He's been looking for the right woman. This King of Pentacles is wealthy. He's got money regardless. You don't ever have to worry about anything with him. You found a good father for your child. You found a good husband for you. I mean, wow. All I can say is, you know, it's, it's time. It's, it's your time. I also think, and as I look at this reading, I told you, um, you guys both, he wanted a child. He wants a child. He does. So let's see why this page of pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is this page of coins or page of pentacles here? Show me. What's going on? Six of cups. Six of cups. Uh-oh. So you've known this person. You guys have come back around. Yeah, you've come back around. Uh, something may have happened in the past. Um, yeah, I, I, you've come back around. Um, the Six of Cups is all about nostalgia. It's all about someone that you've known. Like I said, and I, this Six of Cups has been showing up a lot. But this is someone that you've known, someone that you do know, someone that you've known for a while. You could have been sweethearts back in school, be it college or high school or whatever. And I've said this, someone else I read for this. I don't know who it was. It may have been, I don't know who it was, but I read this same thing for someone else just not too, just recently. But, um, hmm. But the Six of Cups might have been for Pisces. It might have been for Pisces. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the Six of Cups is just saying that you know this person. You guys have been sweethearts in the past. This is not a new person. Maybe you weren't faithful. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. You could have been too young for having a relationship. But you're ecstatic now. You, you always loved each other and you're winning. You're still winning. You're winning. You feel like you're winning with him. He feels the same way. Because he has matured, he has grown up, he's a king of pentacles, he has paper, he has money, he's got a bad girl. You, you, Wow. Here's the three of cups. Let's see why this three of cups is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the three of cups here? Show me. Two of pentacles. Your emotions are everywhere. Your emotions, you're juggling emotions when it comes to him. Because you know, like I said, you've had prior history with him as well. You've had prior history with him, and if he's and if you feel like he's getting ready to ask you to marry him, because here's this three of cups here, your emotions are everywhere. You're not quite sure what to say, what to do. You're not, you, you're just not, your, your emotions are everywhere when it comes to this man. But it, in a good way, in a good way. Because your emotions are everywhere. Let me tell you why they are. It's because your hormones are everywhere. Because I see the Empress card that's coming up. The Empress card, and that means pregnancy. Pregnancy, you're pregnant. You're pregnant, you're with child. You're with child. I think that's why you're winning too here. Because see, here's the deal. I strongly believe that perhaps you didn't think you were going to have, you could, could have children. I don't know, but I, I see that. It's something like that. You didn't think you could have children, I don't think. I, I, I do see that. I don't think you ever thought you haven't used birth control. You didn't, you didn't think you could have children or it just wasn't happening. So let's see why this Empress card is here. Show me spirit guides. The Hierophant. Oh, did I not tell you you were going to get married to this man? The Hierophant. Marriage, commitment. You're pregnant. And you're going to be wifey. All of the above. Go ahead, Libra. Yeah, all of the above. The, the Hierophant can't represent a Taurus sun sign as well. But you're about to be pregnant. You're pregnant and you're going to be married all at the same time to someone that you've loved for a lifetime. You guys got back together. Wow. So let's see why this Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my um, Libra? Show me. Judgment card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Judgment card is all about awareness. And this is this whole reading is about awareness. This is about you guys know you love each other now. I mean, you not that you didn't love each other before, but there is a, a, an awakening. You know, the Judgment card is all about an awakening. It's about a reunion, too. It's about getting back together. I do strongly believe you got back together. And I told you, you had known this person for a while. This was either a college or a high school sweetheart. But now he's mature. You're mature. 
that eight of wands is there. Oh my goodness. You just guys can't, you, each one of you can each stop talking about this new, you're going to be uh, first time parents. Because like I said, this was something that I don't think you thought you could get pregnant or I don't think you thought you could, you could have a child. You hadn't been using birth control. It just wasn't happening, but the universe has blessed you. Let's start. You can't stop talking about it. You're telling the world about it. Everybody's going to know about this. This is the, the blessed child. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. You're winning. You're winning because, for one thing, this King of Pentacles is here. He's got a bag. He's got money. He's good to you. He's kind to you. He's faithful. You've known him for a while. He's um, he's a good dude. You've known him for a while. You might have been high school or college sweethearts. Regardless, you knew each other. Or you, I mean, you just knew you've known each other for a while. Here's the Three of Cups here. When I see the Three of Cups, it's about having fun. But remember, I also told you it could be about having a wedding, preparing for a wedding, getting ready for a wedding. And here's the Two of Pentacles here, which means your hormones are everywhere. Your First of all, Two of Pentacles means your emotions are all over, all over the place. And they are. But the reason they are is because you're with child. You're, you're with child. Look at this. This Empress card. You're, you're, with his, you're with child, and you are ecstatic. You thought you couldn't have a child. You thought it, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. And now I see the Hierophant card here. The marriage is on everything. He was going to marry you anyway. But right now, he's ready to marry you on the spot. He's ready to go to the courthouse. He doesn't care. He's ready to be a, a, a father, a daddy. He's ready to be a, a, your, your husband. And you're ready to be his wifey. You're ready to be a mama. You guys are ready. A mother, whatever you call it. You guys are ready. And here's that eight of wands. You're telling the world about it. You're absolutely telling the world about you. You're with child. You're first time parents. You're happy. You didn't think you were going to have a child. And here it is. The universe has blessed you. That judgment card is there too. And that judgment card is about awareness. It's all about awareness. You guys know now. that You know that you love each other. You know that this is going to be a family. You know you're happy. And you're telling the world. You're telling the world. You are telling the world that you're about to be parents. Absolutely. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Oracles, can you show me what's what's going on? Show me, oracles. What's going on? Show me, or oracle. Oh, I'm going to pull this because it says meditation brings answers. I told you you could not get pregnant. You were not conceiving. Meditation brings answers. That means prayer works. Prayer works. Absolutely prayer works. You know, I'm going to pull this other card too. It says if you believe, you believed. You believe in your prayers worked. Absolutely, your prayers worked. And I'm going to, this is my favorite card. If you listen to my readings, you know, big happy changes. Yeah, because you're about to build a life. You're going to have a life. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to be on and popping. It's going to be on and popping. Last card. Yes. Yes. The universe has blessed you. The universe has blessed you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.